Hi guys. I'm here in wild nature. Hello, farmlands. It's really cool here. Look at this pile. I'm standing on such a pile of hay. But I've never seen it piled so high. I'm here in Czech Republic, south of Brno, on my way to Austria. No highway, just all little roads. So yeah, then you find some uh, interesting spots. Just a quick video to uh, share in the pain, the pain of all the losses uh, the crypto world has um, given us this year. Bitcoin currently $350 uh, or 40, 340, something like that. And NXT just went below two cents a coin again. So the total market capitalization is now, now only 19 million again. Uh, twice it was hit uh, below at 20 million this year in 2014 uh, at the start of the year it had gone up from basically zero to 100 million then it dropped to 20 million then it went back up to 80 million and now it went back down to 20 million and um, yeah Bitcoin a little bit the same pattern at the start of the year it was around $800 coming from $1,200 a month before um, and uh, and it has then dropped to uh, 300 uh, what was it uh, yeah 350 dollars the first time uh, uh, and then it went back up to 650 dollars and then it went down to again now 275 dollars and now it went back up to 350 dollars first to 400 down again now to 350 340 um, Today, Bitcoin is at a loss of, uh, well, it went down from around 800 to 350, so that's a loss of more than 50-60%. Um, and NXT, I don't know the start of the year, it must have been somewhere around, I don't know, 7 cents a coin. It's now 2 cents a coin, so a loss of around 80%. Uh, very, 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 very uh, big losses for some people that have stepped in. Uh, on the highs around 800 or thousand dollars for bitcoin and around eight cents ten cents and even possibly 12 13 cents a coin has been paid for nxt currently at two cents a coin those are serious losses um but of course it's always good to uh, admit your losses i think uh face them uh, and um process them uh, maybe cry a little uh so that you process them <laughs> Uh, but um, I think that's a good thing at, and then uh, to move on and uh, take the right decisions again because uh, in during hard times often the wrong decisions are taken and then you will have double regret later on so the right decision of course today is to to make sure that you have enough invested in the best investments that are available uh, and in my opinion that is still uh, NXT on first place and Bitcoin on second place um, compared to all the other investments I know of uh, being real estate, general stock market, bond markets, uh, gold, silver um, I think Bitcoin uh, and uh, NXT especially have uh, a risk reward ratio that is exceptionally especially today at these uh, uh, very very low prices uh, so that means that I think the biggest allocation in us at least in my portfolio is NXT and I, ha and I have now decided to have uh, not just the same allocation to NXT and Bitcoin but to have an allocation that is uh, double as big for NXT uh, compared to Bitcoin my target is 40% NXT 20% Bitcoin that's a total of 60% in crypto and then uh, around 25% in uh, gold gold mining stocks turbos the Roland van Damme portfolio and then about 15% uh, is left 
yeah uh, and those are just uh, things uh, investments I want to make um, that are really not uh, uh, well I'll see uh, what I'll share about that in the future but um, yeah um, I see this I th for me it's a, an opportunity I'm really buying NXT today with Bitcoin um, 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 I have bought uh, 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 yeah, uh, a lot of Bitcoin when it went down the first time of course first <laughs> I really need to apologize to the ones that have been uh, looking to my videos because I've been really really wrong uh, this year when it comes to uh, predicting the bottom uh, I was already calling the bottom in uh, May 2014 uh, when Bitcoin the first time went down from 800 to 350 uh, I thought that was the bottom I was wrong uh, it went up again uh, to 650 but it went down again to a new low of 275 uh, this I did not uh, expect and um, um, but it has happened and indeed Today the correction that Bitcoin has uh, known is now, uh, uh, we are now November, uh, so uh, the 1st of November is tomorrow, so um, this is um, 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 10 full months this year, but it was already correcting for one month, so that's 11 full months a correction, has never happened with Bitcoin so long. Uh, the correction in 2011 when it dropped from $30 to $2 uh, it was only a duration of um, it was around six months or so uh, so it was a lot less uh, and uh, the bottom was found then already after six months and uh, since then it only went uh, up so um, uh, this has uh, taken longer than I expected but that does mean that <laughs> I'm making again a call that this was the bottom now uh, I can be wrong again but my chances that I'm right are a lot higher today than they were half a year ago because the longer the correction take the more certain you are that um, it's 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 over huh? the same is true with gold that has been correcting for now three years in a row even if uh, we get a, a long-term bear market, it is very likely that uh, this year or next year gold will go up um, considerably, uh, 30% or so. Um, uh, and then if it would be uh, still in a bull market gold, it will go up a lot more. Uh, but after that it could continue its bear market, but that's why I'm still allocating to gold. Um, today um, and um, for Bitcoin the same is true but of course chances that Bitcoin is going into a long-term bear market are much much lower uh, than it is for gold gold has known a rise since 2000 uh, until 2011 that's 11 years bull market for a for gold that is about the same as what happened in the 70s or the 30s it is uh, possible that uh, that the bull market is over because in the past it has also only taken around 10 years uh, and after that it was 20 years downhill for gold so uh, it could uh, be the same today but uh, with uh, Bitcoin of course it's a whole different story uh, Bitcoin is um, um, revolutionary uh, technology that has uh, for the first time in our um, um, human civilization uh, succeeded in creating digital money uh, that is um, um, virtual money uh, just like um, uh, paper agreements are uh, such as paper currency is virtual money it are agreements that you can transfer via phone line uh, but um, this one cannot be printed into infinity uh, with paper you can always uh, promise someone else the same or print more paper and uh, give more paper to more people but uh, not being able to fulfill those obligations with bit bit Bitcoin that is not possible nobody can print Bitcoin if you receive a Bitcoin you know that that person cannot create more Bitcoins uh, uh, from from uh, thin air and so uh, 
that's uh, what gold always has offered the certainty that uh, you get something of value that nobody can uh, print into uh, uh, worthlessness and uh, this is now also uh, for the first time available uh, outside of gold outside of physical uh, material it is now available in the virtual world and that is what Bitcoin uh, brought to us and um, that is an amazing invention that uh, is worth a lot more than the va it is valued today um, uh, it will likely in the long term replace uh, virtual money uh, being euros dollars because those those are uh, much less inferior um, um, especially as a, the savings instrument uh, it will take over that role and it will also likely uh, uh, take a serious bite from gold gold being valued today still at 7000 billion Bitcoin at 5 billion so um, you see uh, if there the shift will likely be in the favor of Bitcoin um, NXT uh, it looks really good to me I'm so happy I can invest this in this I uh, that I know about this and that people are just giving it away it's just ridiculous Bitcoin uh, NXT prices again today uh, in US dollars it's it's below 20 million it below two cents a coin but in 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 in, uh, in Bitcoin value NXT is today valued uh, at 5,500 Satoshi it has been going up to uh, 13,000 Satoshi then it has um, um, uh, well, it started trading at around 100 Satoshi on DGEX in December 2013. It went up to 3000 Satoshi, 30 folding. Then I started to invest. Then it went up from 3000 Satoshi to 13,000 Satoshi, 3 to 4 folding again. Then it collapsed to 2000 Satoshi or uh, above 2000 Satoshi. I don't know the exact price. Maybe it was three thousand satoshi. Then it went up again to ten thousand. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, ten thousand satoshi. Then it went down again to um, uh, to now. Um, um, a low was found at um, um, at five. Uh, the low is still uh, five thousand uh, satoshi. Um, 5,400 to be exact and um, will it go lower uh, that is possible but um, I think that is not very likely because um, um, if because um, I do see an inflow a slow but steady inflow of um, people that see the light of NXT that see the value of NXT uh, and that uh, that uh, exchange Bitcoin for NXT and hold on to them. So I I th I think it is very unlikely that uh, that NXT versus Bitcoin will uh, see a new low uh, below three three thousand or so. I don't think that is likely. So that's why I'm really loading the boat today. Um, and um, but of course I'm loading the boat because I'm just balancing my portfolio. Uh, I want to have a double exposure to NXT than to Bitcoin, so so that's what I'm uh, realizing. Um, but for me, what I see uh, in uh, in NXT is very very positive. Um, the software continues to be uh, developed at uh, rapid uh, speed. Uh, I must say. Um, uh, the software looks amazing. I have now started to use the multi gateway. Uh, so uh, I used to uh, trade uh, by NXT via centralized exchanges such as uh, first DHEX uh, and then uh, Beater and some new scriptsy. Uh, but um, such disasters that happen with always the same with centralized exchanges. Uh, Beater uh, a few months ago suddenly they they lose all their NXT uh, and they uh, approve to uh, have really really poor security like the same password for their server than for their email account like just teenager mistakes and eh? but these things happen with um with um yeah with exchanges Mongox was also such a disaster suddenly all the coins gone um so really I and 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 
And so what's been developed is, of course, you have an NXT, the asset, asset exchange, a decentralized asset exchange. But uh, uh, up until recently, you could only uh, launch assets and trade assets, but not coins. Though, uh, those were more, basically stocks, but not coins. And now um, um, the multi, uh, a few months ago, the multi gateway has been launched and... Um, and uh, and now you can trade coins via the NXT Asset Exchange. So from your client or from uh, the secureassetexchange.com, secureie.com, uh, via website, you can um, actually no, uh, that's not a great solution to buy uh, NXT. Uh, you do have to do it via the client. Uh, the secureie.com is very good to buy assets, uh, stocks. Uh, I'm gonna say something about that also. Uh, but um, yeah, I find it amazing that via the client, I can just, uh, okay, it's still a bit technical. I have to install a plugin. I really don't like to do such stuff, but uh, well, it's worth it. Um, so I, I'll did that. And then you just have, um, you, you, you have an extra piece in your client and you can just, um, uh, you get a Bitcoin address and um, and then you just send the bitcoins and then the bitcoin um, are converted into mgw btc so you don't have btc anymore you now have mgw btc which is not the same uh, it is btc with counterparty risk uh, just like uh, you have or had hox coins eh? or bitstamp uh, coins and uh, those are not bitcoins they are bitstamp coins they can be gone in a second bitcoins that you own yourself are real bitcoins and the bitcoins that someone else owns uh, are bitcoins with counterparty risk uh, that cannot be uh, can be lost the same is of true of course true for mgv btc uh, but uh, the advantage there is that uh, uh, it's not just uh, 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 controlled by one person uh, it is um, as i understand it and i could be wrong in this but uh, the, the 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 bitcoins will be um, um, stored via um, multi-sig account so different person need to sign in order to release the bitcoin so no, one person cannot um, uh, just steal the bitcoins uh, they need to uh, have different people um, colluding to do that and that's uh, better uh, the best hedge funds uh, that uh, own bitcoin the one in malta uh, they do the same and so they uh, they have a uh, bitcoins but uh, it's a multi-sig account and uh, also decent backups everywhere and so uh, it's much better secured than any individual would do uh, but there is still trust you still trust a few people and uh, they can uh, collude to steal your coins but at least it's done a lot better than most of the centralized exchanges. Uh, probably bit sample, so but be there. Like it's always just one person that has all the power, and um, and that can fuck up, steal the coins, or lose the coins. Uh, so so that's not a good thing. That's better done here at uh, MGV, the multi gateway. But um, what I like most about it is that half of uh, what you trade there. All the NXT is has no counterparty risk at all. Eh? So I send my bitcoins and um, I get MGV BTC that I uh, trade on the asset MGV BTC that you uh, in the same NXT client uh, you can then buy and sell uh, MGV BTC in exchange for NXT. And so, for example, what I do is um, I uh, I uh, I sell. MGV BTC for NXT, but the moment that trade is done, I get NXT, and that NXT is immediately my own. Eh? I, I, it's that it has no counterparty risk, um, so so that's great because, for example, at Beater, yeah, you you buy NXT, but NXT is still at Beater, and then if Beater loses it all, you lose your NXT. So it's really great that half of it is without counterparty risk. That's I like that very much, but. Uh, at the same time, if you sell NXT for uh, MGV BTC, then you must realize that, that MGV BTC is, of course, not BTC, and it is wise to withdraw uh, your uh, MGV BTC to, um, into BTC that you uh, store yourself in your client um, um, that has no counterparty risk. But I've, it's the first time I use the asset exchange because I have not used it in the past yet. 
NXT asset exchange because I wasn't really interested in the uh, assets. Uh, so now this is the first time I use the asset exchange to buy uh, uh, NXT and uh, I love it. It's fantastic. You put orders, uh, it costs one NXT for every order, cancelling an order also one NXT, but that's two cents, I, I think that's nothing. Uh, and you don't have uh, commissions, like normally on exchanges you pay not one NXT, not two cents, what you pay is, uh, what is it? 0.2% of your uh, transaction, that's a lot more, eh? uh, or 0.5% sometimes, that's a lot more, uh, so... I think that's very cheap uh, so uh, anyways um, but um, but uh, it goes quickly okay it's not like a centralized exchange eh? when you put in an order it's not immediately there no it takes a minute uh, to uh, to be confirmed uh, by uh, the network uh, before it's it's there so you need to wait a minute but it's okay it's doable it's 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 uh, it's quick enough um, so so I'm very impressed now that I the first time use NXT asset exchange I'm very impressed with the multi gateway though they have still some issues like when you deposit bitcoin it takes a day before they process it or, or even longer sometimes and when you withdraw a uh, bitcoin it also takes a day or longer and and that's really sometimes it's, it's an hour but I really don't like that it should be automatic but I think they will have, uh, they will iron that out because it's still uh, on the on the development service today, but it will go to the production service. So that's uh, and then it should be also the counterparty risks should, should then be then then be done with multi sig and 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 uh, I, I think I hope that uh, the withdrawals and deposits are also automatic. And at that point, you have really a a, a much better uh, exchange, a much more decentralized exchange, though not fully decentralized. I do hope someone invents that so that all your bitcoins also have no counterparty risk at all i hope we get there but this is already a great improvement uh, and nxt is again the first to offer this uh, so uh, that's why i think um, that's uh, really really great uh, the nxt marketplace is also uh, uh, has also been launched and people are starting to sell and buy goods so that's also really nice to see but what i also find really impressive is Actually, I'm starting to really uh, see uh, the, 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 some of the stocks are interesting. Um, I have not invested, but for example, this NXT, NXT uh, they are planning to, uh, they are building a, uh, and they have actually already released an app uh, for Android. Um, and, uh, and it is uh, actually just a chat app, but uh, encrypted. And they use NXT. Uh, that could be a very popular app, though it might totally fail also, but it's interesting. I think that's really great. What I what I found really interesting to read is that NXT has a lot of uh, uh, um, enemies. Uh, and that means people that are not neutral, but people that feel really negative about uh, NXT. A, a lot of Bitcoiners. Uh, very sad to see, but that's how it is. And it has been the same with when I went to do Bitcoin with gold bucks. Also, a bunch of assholes, uh, the way they respond to Bitcoin. Well, it's the same with NXT uh, and a lot of Bitcoiners. A bunch of assholes eh, uh, that are not uh, rational, uh, but uh, uh, seem to only uh, think uh, short-term self-interest. And they think that they will profit from bashing a competition that uh, that is uh, better. But of course that will not work out. Um, but uh, but that's what's happening. NXT is ignored to that by some uh, by 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 a big part of the Bitcoin world, and uh, and also fought now. Um, uh, a lot of uh, bullshit is spread about NXT that the distribution is not fair, which is totally bullshit. Um, or uh, pff, it used to be that the, so the so source is not open, but it is open source. All kind of foot, eh? fear, uncertainty, doubt, uh, but based on false, uh, uh, false, uh, false information. Uh, um, so, so these things uh, are happening, and that of course explains why uh, it is so cheap, because very, very few. Um, 
capital has been flowing into NXT up until today. Um, but yeah, what gives me hope, there must be a positive evolution because if it continues to be ignored to that, then it, well, it may die. So, so I'm not uh, gonna, I lose my shirt on this one, even though I'm investing a lot, I do that because uh, I see a lot of positive indicators. I do see that a lot of, um, Bitcoiners are uh, uh, starting to uh, a lot. It's a very small, small, small. We're talking 10, 20 people here that I've seen on the Bitcoin forum from the thousands. Uh, but I mean, uh, not new accounts, but old accounts eh, that uh, defend NXT and and that um, or proof of stake. And uh, so I see that evolution. Uh, whereas half a year ago that was not the case. Um, Especially uh, a few months ago with the beater hack, there was a lot of discussion about NXT and proof of stake on the Bitcoin forums. And I, I was very surprised how many were actually supportive about the whole thing. Uh, and that was the first time I saw that. So that uh, does um, give me hope. But uh, what gives me most hope is, of course, real utility uh, is NXT useful or not because that's gonna really make or break it and um, that's why real services need to be built on top of uh, NXT that have uh, unique value and I think the asset exchange is doing that uh, the kind of stocks that are being launched there uh, uh, are interesting uh, useful uh, like the next T but also for example uh, what is it Yin uh, is a project where they are um, um, developing a new kind of processor it's out of my league, but um, uh, but it is. I think it is an interesting project. Um, Multi Gateway is also an asset that's on uh, on uh, on uh, on the asset exchange, and uh, of course they offer a very useful service, being the first, uh, I, the most decentralized exchange for coins trading. Um, and what other assets were interesting? Um, that I found interesting. Nothing comes to mind immediately, but that's already something. Um, yeah, a lot of these assets from uh, from GL77. I don't uh, I don't understand. Like Supernet uh, uh, is the biggest asset today, but I don't get it. But uh, actually, the GL77 has also made uh, the multi gateway, so that's that's really nice. So who knows? There might be something there. But um, compared to, for example, Counterparty, uh, that's the biggest competition today for the asset exchange, decentralized asset exchange. And yeah, if you look at uh, coinmarketcap.com, uh, you have now a, a section, not just coins, but also a section assets. And there you can see uh, who's winning the race and uh, NXT is doing very well. Um, uh, the top 10 is seven assets are from on the, uh, traded on the NXT uh, asset exchange. But uh, the other uh, two, three interesting assets are, well, of course, you have uh, made safe, but I don't uh, understand that. Um, and I'm uh, skeptical uh, because it's such an old project. And then I become, and they received so much money. I, I, I don't, I don't believe in it, but I could certainly be wrong. I haven't studied it in depth. That's actually the biggest asset and it is traded on MasterCoin, but that's the only thing they have. And um, yeah, uh, but after that you have uh, three, four NXT assets. But then you have also a counterparty asset. Uh, they have now two interesting assets. And of course, yeah, counterparty has won uh, the race to uh, attract overstock to their uh, asset exchange. Though it comes with a lot of. Um, it's not just that Overstock decided to to launch uh, an asset on their exchange. No, they decided to hire the lead developers uh, into their offices and uh, build something new. Uh, so I I I I don't think that's a uh, present there they got. Um, I think it proves that uh, that's a big problem with counterparty that the business model is broke. It has never worked. Uh, allowing bitcoins to be used on your uh, decentralized asset exchange and not forcing people to use your currency which is the counterparty currency uh, makes that the currency itself does not go up in value and so everybody that invests in it uh, does not make money and 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 even the developers don't make money because they hold coins that don't go up 
So, so that's uh, a problem and that's why, of course, they allow themselves to be hired out uh, by overstock and to get paid. So that's what happens when you have bad business models. You please someone at the expense of yourself. And here, uh, I think, Counterparty has pleased the Bitcoin community uh, at the expense of themselves. And now they are basically wage slaves and have to dance to the rhythm of some CEO, uh, his plans. That's, of course, not uh, decentralization. So, um, with NXT, um, I like what I see because uh, the, the developers are continued to be more developers who are joining the community, valuable developers, and um, and um, that's really good. And then we're talking about uh, to, 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 to develop the NXT core and the NXT client. And next to that, you have very interesting projects that built on NXT, like this NXT. But also, I really am very impressed with the secure asset exchange.com uh, because um, what they do is they allow you to uh, buy uh, assets, but immediately with Bitcoin on, on the NXT asset exchange. It's a website. It's very user friendly. It's amazing. You come on that website, immediately you see all the assets on the left, on the, you click on them and you see on the right, uh, 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 what's the situation, price, uh, the order book, what is the asset. And you on top, you can just uh, deposit Bitcoin and, and, and buy the assets. I think that's very well done. Um, because of course bitcoin is the uh, by far the most known uh, cryptocurrency and so it is important for nxt to uh, attract uh, them to the asset exchange uh, but a lot of these bitcoins don't want to be bothered with other coins and uh, and will uh, uh, so that that they will really uh, uh, likely uh, use such a website uh, because they don't need to be bothered with NXT, they just deposit Bitcoin and, and they buy uh, the assets that way. But NXT is not excluded here, uh, because what the Secure Asset Exchange does is, of course, they buy uh, NXT with the Bitcoins. And so um, NXT is still needed uh, to trade on, uh, uh, on the asset exchange, it's just done in the background. Um, and... Um, and I, I think something like Secure Asset Exchange has a lot of potential because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm starting to change my vision about that you need everything in the client um, and that's really great that you have everything in the client but the problem is the client yeah, it, it, it's, it's a client, so it's a real client it has a big blockchain well, it's not that big as Bitcoin but it's starting to build you need to update that often and, uh, and or wait for the for the blockchain to, to update. It's much better than Bitcoin when you use a Bitcoin client or the, what is it? Um, Armory client, that just takes hours. It's really a, a real, real, real old, old piece of technology. It does a job, but it's like a tractor, driving a tractor, you know, it's so slow. It's, oh, every time you launch that few hours waiting, that's not the case with the NXT client, it goes a lot quicker. But um, still, uh, um, I don't think that's the future. With Bitcoin, what is the most popular wallet? That is blockchain.info wallet. And that's just the website. Nobody, you just create an account and you can do receive Bitcoin, send Bitcoin. And you don't have to wait for blockchains and all that. That's, of course, the future for Bitcoin. And uh, the future for NXT is the same, uh, I think, today. Uh, it will be via very user-friendly websites. And so something like secureassetexchange.com where you just create an account, which is an NXT account, that's very well done. Eh? So it will also work uh, anywhere else, that account. Eh? Uh, I like that. Uh, but um, uh, uh, yeah, you can immediately create an account and buy the assets and you're done with it. Eh? You don't have to wait for anything. Um, and I, I think that's very well done. I think Secure Asset Exchange makes a very, very good chance to become uh, the next, uh, the blockchain.info of NXT uh, blockchain.info is the most popular website I think in the Bitcoin world uh, because they have the most useful service which is a very user-friendly uh, wallet and uh, also app apps uh, uh, on Android and e now also Apple but also great wallets so that's that's and they were the first and they are a free service secure asset exchange the same they are a free service but they they are wise at least blockchain.info was wise to add extra services where they ask money for 
Um, and that's that's a good business model, I think. Uh, for example, with shared coin, uh, blockchain.info uh, asks a fee. Eh, if you want to send uh, coins more privately, uh, they ask a fee. But that fee has gone down. It may have even be free today. Uh, but I think that's a good business model. And Secure Est Exchange is aiming for the same, uh, giving a, a lot of free services, but then ex offering extra services uh, for a, a, a fee. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, very interesting to see that um, very competent uh, people. Also, these people are backed by Silicon Valley uh, venture capital. Uh, I'm very impressed with that because um, uh, you you hear about Silicon Valley uh, venture capital investing in Bitcoin, but you don't hear about that with NXT. But that's actually what's happening today. So so that gives me also a good hope. Um, and what else? Um, yeah. So finishing up, um, it was uh, uh, it it yeah. It, uh, I didn't expect it to correct so hard from 100 million to 20 million the first time, uh, and then it went back up to 80 million uh, or eight cents a coin NXT, and then I thought. Now it will eh, uh, go up to uh, pff, double tenfolding versus Bitcoin. Didn't happen. Went down again uh, from 10,000 to uh, now uh, 5,500. Uh, but uh, and in dollar value a lot more because uh, Bitcoin has been tanking too. So in dollar values from 80 million it went down to 20 million now. So wow, a serious, serious big corrections. Um, so I didn't see this coming, and uh, I'm sorry for those that uh, are in losses and uh, and that uh, that um, yeah that maybe uh, uh, yeah they uh, they decided to buy due to my videos. Uh, I'm sorry for that, um, um, but yeah, um, I do hope that uh, um, yeah um, that you're being wise. Uh, and uh, invest more into it because you never make uh, yeah it's 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 true that um, the profit is made when you buy an asset uh, um, cheaply i mean you're not certain you will end up making profit but that's the only way to make profits is to buy low and sell high and if you don't do the buy low thing you can never sell high so it's uh, <laughs> the first condition to make profit is you have to buy low uh, but that are the most difficult times because uh, if it's low, it means it has gone down a lot. Uh, and so so that means that fear is there for everyone and uh, it can always uh, fail every investment. So so you're looking down instead of up. Uh, but uh, today uh, is uh, the time to look up instead of down. And um, yeah, uh, I think... Um, there are no certainties, but uh, the fundamentals of NXT are stronger uh, again today than uh, my last video, which was uh, probably a month and a half ago or so, um, when I made the video about Microsoft. Um, and uh, yeah, it just looks better, the fundamentals. Not the price, that has gone down again with 50%, but uh, with the fundamentals, the software... Um, uh, the amount of people that know about it, eh? the amount of transactions continues to go up. Uh, I like that. Thanks to the asset exchange, that's very, very good. Eh? Very few altcoins succeed in having more and more transactions over time. Um, uh, Dogecoin succeeds in that. Uh, Litecoin does not succeed in that. Uh, and I don't think Peercoin does not exceed in that. I haven't checked the statistics there, uh, but um, that's what I expect to see. And uh, NXT succeeds in that. And that's very, 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 I think, important. And Bitcoin also succeeds in that, in having more transaction now. The last few months it has gone up again. So that's really good. Um, yeah, uh, so I think that's about it show you a nice last view of um, somewhere in the lands of Czech Republic in early morning the sun has been going up but the Dow 
uh, or how do you say it? The mist. The mist is still here. And the communist farms seem to be still here too. So bye guys. Have a great time. And uh, keep up the hope. Invest today to profit tomorrow. Bye.